a Moscow manufactured restaurant, a company called Reboot. Uh, Reboot is an LED company that's been set up, it's about 10 years old, to do retrofitting for existing HID lighting in different cities. Uh, what an LED light brings to the table is most of your HID lighting like you have out town, I think you have 150 watt HPS uh, out front. Of it. And then uh, what's your, those phones last about 18, 19,000 hours. But during that time, you may get more and more hours into your house and go out and make us a whole lot more. An LED bulb is good for work between 60 and 100,000 hours. Uh, you have no maintenance on it. Virtually, that's part of us made a bunch of 20 years. <coughs> Plus, you're replacing the 150 watt out there with like an 86 watt bulb and getting the same high light level on the ground. Uh, for your high pressure sodium, is a yellow looking light. Your, metal, uh, your LED lights are a uh, white light, like <coughs> very incandescent. Uh, the rest of on is all. You don't have to have a power pedal failure or anything. It doesn't have to have a, a cool down to restrike and warm back up before the light will come back on. Uh, what uh, Reelum has done is they can take, instead of buying a brand new LED picture, which would be in the range of $1,200 plus per just for the head on the pole itself, they come up with a retrofit kit which takes the internal, uh, pretty much the BIOS and guts out of the inside of the picture you got now, and replace it with the LED picture for her. It worked for free $500 on that. So the payback is a whole lot quicker on. on, on Getting your money back on it, and you can have to start to recoup your money and put it back in your pocket so it might pay out. I brought a, a small sample in the back. It allowed me to plug it in, you can see. I don't know where we're going to plug in, but uh, let's plug it in. There's not a Now for the uh, street lights, which is city zone, they're only worth 14 cents per kilowatt for the power. Now how bright is that going to be? Is it going to have to shade our eyes? No, <laughs> <laughs> this one is dimmable, so what? This one has two different. <laughs> 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 was, it has two different types of voltage. You can see you can get a cool white or a warm white that's rocking into this. Depending on what you want. And they are available. You put them on the control on for they, they uh, can either at night time you can cut down to half even you know, half power or blows so what you're used to doing. The peak time up between say ten and twelve. Here in the middle of the night you can cut it even lower. That's one. Gee, can you get the uh, light switch by here just for a second? Sure. What it allows you to do is. So now is that as bright as it will look? What? The light in the picture is that as broken? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just that was on the low power. So you turn it back up. That's, that's what you can do with your light at nighttime. If you're not, uh, your streets aren't real busy at night, you can do it down half power during the peak hour and run it back up to full power or if you're having something else now. Now, now the Kelvin on that, you can actually see all colors with that light, correct? You can see all colors. And that's the reason I've got two different Kelvin. I've got a, a, a river real white LEDs, as you can see. This is the 6,000, this is the 4,000 Kelvin. Okay. So, so the some people like the, uh, the, the, the warmer light or the looks more like Kelvin because that's the bulb or the old uh, uh, so you don't talk a lot, so you really is like, like, like a, a gas under. Yes. Okay, so. We speak your kind of What What you do with this picture, in, in, in your picture, is to get the light down on the ground where it's supposed to be, as once you put it in the unit, you pull the camera out, and the boys, the lens is down towards the ground, so we got your light on the ground itself instead of up in the air. You can see it puts it down more where you're walking in that area around where you're selling the brighter it is this way. You got the soft light, all we're missing is the soft music. Okay, Chief. This is uh, where the technology is beginning to go now.
Now that will instantly start back up. It will blow right back in. It's not like it. the sodium where you have to cool down and start back up. Right. This is this not correct. This is not correct. This is not correct. So that now we were talking about to be able to shut down. Does that have in the circuitry a timer that go and shut that off at a certain time? You can put it in on the photo cell that runs the, the light. Uh, most of these lights, I think, on the other photo control they come on, and you can get a, a time photo cell on it. So it say at 12 o'clock, it will automatically turn it down to 50% power. So that's 45 watts. Right. And then, like I say, if you wanted to five o'clock in the morning, when you try to come back to it, it would keep it back up to full power. And then turn it off and off just like a regular photo cell. Now, what's the warning for? A warning on these for 10 years. Uh, as far as the uh, manufacturing warning on it. But the picture should be good for 20 years without having to do any maintenance on it at all. That and you can get a 20 year photo cell to go in and also. <laughs> that does include the electronic package also? That's everything. That's everything in it. Right. 10 year warranty. 10 year warranty. Right. How much, how much cost are we talking for again? Uh, usually, what, what Reason will do is they will, they will take one of your heads down and I'll send it to the factory. They will rip one of the cars. You can see this load is a lot taller than here a little bit. So that LED package they'll have to readjust it so it'll open up in your unit. Uh, they charge $500 to do a, the upfront retrofit, so you can plug and play. All you do is pick it up, drop it in, it takes about 15 minutes to change one out. Uh, and then the, the package itself falls under that, that price. And they'll, they'll re, whatever you want, everything you wind up buying, they'll recoup uh, what that price was. So, so you're talking somewhere between $300 and $400 for a fixed ride. If they didn't need to be serviced, would we have a service contract for your company or do we find a local? Uh, any of your local people do that. I've got some contractors in the state that do this. Uh, I've got some over in Wake Ross that, that uh, come over this way and then some in uh, uh, Albany. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really interested in the be interested. It's very easy to do. Like I say, that you take two screws out of it, the valve is going to come out and the assembly and plug it back into and so what will be our savings then? We're talking 12 hour on time, 86. Now that 86 watts, does that include the uh, electronics also? So There's a little breakdown on the inside. You look in the little print out of it. They base it on 300 units. Uh, but you can extrapolate it down for where you're at. Uh, if you want and it shows you the payback uh, or your amount of, uh, of uh, maintenance you're going to have on it and everything. Uh, payback usually runs in a three to six year range like that to have it fully paid back. So essentially we would be cutting our power costs mm -hmm. 14 cents to 13 cents a kilowatt hour down to uh, about seven cents. So but save close to half your, your, your power, and then your maintenance should be brought fairly to the other Usually you figure every three years or every two years, you want to replace the bulb with both cells in the unit have, and that's, you know, be the high power of the unit. Okay. So right now, let me get this straight. They charge, if we take the head off and send it to you, you send it to the factory for $500. They, they will design the rent fit to make sure it all fits in. And, and send it back. We will put it on a pole, see how it works, and if we like it, don't like it, whatever. Right. And then if you decide to go with that, they've already got the pattern made. They, they can ship everyone on in at one time. You can go down. It takes about 15 minutes to change one in now. Okay, now, can you pull that little off and show everybody how that thing spread out? The way it, uh... Now, that's what directs the light downward so it doesn't have the glare. It directs the light downward. What these fans do here is they create circulation inside of it to keep the LEDs cool. Uh, unlike a, a regular lamp that you have in a, your wall, an LED you can lay your hand on the front side of it and not turn it on. <coughs> the heat from the LED comes off the back. And that's why you have these heavy aluminum uh, heat sinks behind them because you're trying to draw the heat away from the LED. LEDs were actually designed for refrigerator tools before you saw them first in the refrigerator door, because they love cold. Uh, 
So as the cir fire circulates inside of this, it keeps it, it, it pulls the heat off of those and it heats it down into the, the pot so it can be removed away from the slope. Well, when the lights go down and down, can you come in and change out the panels that the LEDs are blown in? Yeah, but they, 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 you, you, can, you can change the individual panel that they need to like. Okay, but it's got to be the whole panel and not just the bulb itself. Right. Each one, if you look at each one of these, each one of these are little LEDs here. Mm -hmm. And uh, as one blows out, it will ramp the others up a little bit to, to mm -hmm. sustain the same light level we have on it until you just lose them, you know, that it won't work anymore. Uh, it's, that, that'll be like, you know, on a 20 year, 20 year scale now. You know, I'll, the reason I was asking is because you ever noticed uh, red lights that are LEDs? You'll see dark spots or whatever all around it where right. the lights are burned out. Mm -hmm. Like a light bright without yeah. some of the yeah. heads. <laughs> no, no. Hey, that happens. <laughs> it, how many have a lot of MOV? If you, you photos will have an MOV in it from server section, but this also has an MOV if you come and take out the power to find an MOV in it. Now, you said it has a 10 year warranty. Now, let's say we have half a dozen miles per hour. Is that part of the warranty? Or when it gets down below, if it, if it blows, mostly that's covering your electronics on the inside. Mm -hmm. if it, your LEDs, if, once they go past, they should last what they call a gel 70 rating right now. That's when 70% of your LEDs are burning and 30% are out. That's when they consider the end of life. That's for 20 years. So even at 20 years, you still have about 70% of your LEDs still burning. All important question. This is a uh, state and federal highway guy. They have a lot of restrictions on the uh, shape of light and the type of light you can use to do this federal state highway. Mm -hmm. Does that meet all the requirements for the federal state? The only thing about uh, on your state maintained road is DOT doesn't accept anything with HDS right now. What we've done in the city of Marietta, places for the one year federal daylight, is the city has come in and say we'll maintain these lights. No, these are, these are our lights. Okay. It won't matter what they're going to As long as you keep the glass globe on your picture, that's, that's the main requirement on your, your DOT. Event. They require the glass globe unit on their a certain amount. A certain amount of light level out on the road. Right. Right. And you'll have more light with this than you do with your, your, your unit to have now for this action. Put it down on the road and set it and lose it up in the air on the road. So this, is, this will meet all the state and federal requirements. Yeah. Next major question. Where have you installed these in the United States? They have got the whole city of Arlington, Virginia. Just put this unit itself in. Uh, let's see what else they've got that. We're just working. I've only had the line about six months here in Georgia, so we're just starting to get the info group. We've got a lot of trial uh, uh, data sites out. We haven't got sold that many of the packages on, on yet, but we've got data sites out. We've got some down in Savannah, some up in Habersham, up in the mountains of North Georgia. Okay, next, next crucial question. Uh, you have this type. Now, do you have a retrofit for the, like a Cobra lamp? Yes. Yeah. And all that is, in, I put all that in the back of your, your thing. It shows all the different retrofits they have. They have it for Cobra head, they have it for some floods. Yeah. They've got a post off line, they've got that all, all in there. Uh, that, all of those are owned by Georgia Power. Yeah. And uh, we, I guess, rent them leases. And I don't know if you, if you or yourself have been in with Georgia Power and talked to them about your, you know, your equipment. Mm -hmm. I've been with Georgia Power. Okay. So now it's not so long. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe it doesn't question us. Okay. I'd like to say that right now, what we're paying, what well, we have 30 seconds, and the average cost per lamp now is like eight fifty, maybe nine dollars for each lamp that we have. And this is strictly just energy. This is not put in any uh, maintenance or uh, nothing. Right. What it, what it is is if you own your own light on an LED, you shouldn't have that maintenance where you do on an HDS. So those bulbs are only will only last about three years, but that's max in service. You're going to have to replace them. You get light extractors that to go out. You get they, they get heaters and stuff that they'll go out. And that with an LED, you know, it's going to last you for twenty years. That's 